Good evening and welcome to Victoria Stadium. It's match day two. We're back in league action and it's Europa FC versus Glasses United. Let's take a look at the lineups. Starting with Europa this evening, in goal number one is Banda, two Jolly, six is Pichu, ten Anthony Hernandez, eleven is Willie, twelve is Olivero, fourteen is Paul, fifteen is Benitez, seventeen Rivera, nineteen is Borge, and twenty-five is Manolin. Looking at Glasses United for tonight, in goal number one is uh, Pasqua. 11 is Batista, 17 is the PD, 25 is Breto, 32 Burnett, 33 is Cipollina, 36 is Basile, 37 is Turkese, and uh, 38 is Scubra, and 39 Andalusia, and 41 is McCoy. They make up the uh, starting lineup for Glasses United. Good evening, yeah. Welcome to Victoria Stadium. We're back in league action after the first round concluded in the Rock Cup. And it is Europa versus Glasses United. And uh, Europa will be hoping that they can uh, get three more valuable points on the board and take them to the top of the Gibraltar Football League. But Glasses United, they'll have other things on their mind and they'll be hoping to make it as difficult as possible for this quality Europa side referee this evening is Timothy Rioc his two assistants of Adrian Carrillo and Michael Godejo and the fourth official is Dennis Perez and we're off and it is Europa to get this game underway attacking from left to right in the first 45 minutes. We're looking to bounce back after the disappointment of that 3-2 defeat in the Rock Cup to Lincoln Red Imps. So one of the big boys already out of the competition that's a solid tackle. Olivero not pulling out there. On to chase, Banda. It's in the ball long and then a nice cushion there to back. The experience of Joseph Cipollina. It's a good ball out to the far side and it's well brought down as well. Certainly some quality in this Glasses United side. A mixture of youth and experience. Cipollina was looking for options. It was closed down very quickly there. Having a word with some of his teammates, just asking them to, to show a little bit more. Ball inside, but Manolin wants a free kick, but referee happy to wave play on. Pretty much the same side, apart from uh, Bradley Banda. Back between the posts and the rest of the team. Exactly the same as what played in that uh, 
game against Lincoln Red Imps. Glasses United closing down very well. Just need to be careful that they don't leave any gaps. Into Jolly. Deciding to go inside. He was looking for the feet of Anthony Hernandez. Quick start to this game, as you would expect. That's a good ball into feet. One over the top, looking for the run. support inside Victoria Stadium this evening solid header well brought down and a good turn got the free kick good skill there from Basile Good, I wanted to uh, take the quick one, but referee tell him to slow down and wait for him to whistle. Good ball into the chest and a good piece of skill there from Glasses United. For a second, I thought they got themselves a corner. A lot of football action coming up this weekend. Every single night this week. It's been the first round of the the Rock Cup. Chester down, space out on this far side. Keep the ball in play. Done really well, Batista. Going to be pushed back though. Looking for options. To burn it. Good build up here from Glasses. Cutting inside, just showing a little bit too much of that ball. And Alusa there. And Lynn. Anthony Nandez taking over. Just bobbled up in front of him. Nice footwork. And Good turn initially, but unfortunate to turn into traffic. Tissue. Passing the ball on, working it out from the back. Batista. Looking for options further forward. That's a good piece of still. That's an excellent turn there from Hernandez. Into the feet of Jolly. Can he get a good ball into the box? A oh, well shielded, good defending. Well, there was a nudge in the back. Intelligent defending there, just stepping across Ethan Jolly and not allowing the full back to uh, get in behind. Challenging ball, but we're happy to put the ball out and then get bodies back behind the ball. Olivero, well, I thought that he kept the ball in.
Annalyn coming forward. Another solid challenge and Europa closing down the men very quickly. Ball flicked on, well read by putting a burst in down the left and winning the corner. Willie there on the far side, driving forward and asking a few questions of Glasses United. Well, something going on in the box. Pasqua with Borge. I think Borge was looking to stand in front of the goalkeeper. Which he's allowed to do. Solid header again. Middle of the park winning those aerial battles. Nice touch inside. Wants the ball back down that far side. Kept in by Tanziki. Dual nationality, uh, German and an Albanian. 37 for Glasses United, quality player. Comes from a family of uh, professional footballers who applied the trade in the in the German leagues and that's a good good play there from Glasses trying to play just overcooking the ball it was a real chance to have a sight on goal just dwelled on the ball too much but Glasses have shown signs coming forward again Opening 10 minutes, they've, they've managed to uh, get the ball down and some nice passes off. They're going to have to do some defending now. Chipolina stepping across and clearing the danger. Ball was there, it was a battle with Borge. Only one winner. Experience of Cipollina there, just covering, helping his uh, partner out. That's a good ball towards the back post. Piece you out to the far side. Manolin into the box, a little bit of space, and it's 1 0. Well, he had acres of space, but it's Dylan Borge who scores the first goal of the evening. It was a ball played into the box from the far side. And as the ball came in, look at the space for Bowers to just slip it underneath the goalkeeper and give Europa a one-goal lead. I think the Glasses players are remonstrating because they thought it was an hand ball by Borge, believing that the ball was knocked down into his path but the goal stands 11 minutes on the clock Europa 1, Glasses United 0 finished it really well uh, Pascal was trying to narrow down the angle but Ford was able to slip the ball Underneath the keeper. One line, there's a tester for, for Jollet. Well, shielded out and dragged back. He has to be careful with that because. Well, that's certainly of capable of getting himself in the book with a, 
a drag back like that. Bit of frustration from Andalusia. Long over the top, and that's going to bounce down for Willie. What can he do with the ball? Cross face of goal. That's an excellent ball. Rivera picking it up into feet. Nice little touch. Nice little, little give and go there between Pichu and Nandez. Well, the ball across the face of goal. It wasn't far from Borge. Had quite a bit of joy down that left hand side. We were getting in behind his man. Causing problems. And Andes. Corner given away. Frustration with the way that the goal was conceded because up to that point, Glassis had enjoyed a good percentage of the of the ball and been knocking it around with, with some confidence. But they do find themselves one goal nil. Been stopped. I think the referee's having a few words. Be willing to take it. Looking to put this right. Underneath the glasses, United crossbar. It's a good delivery. A good header clearance back in by Europa. Burnett trying to clear the ball. Barrow in the foul. That's a good ball out to the far side. time hitting it long down that right hand side trying to get it into the feet of shielding the ball well we get given Europa pleading the innocence Manolin opportunity to get some bodies forward into the box Put a little bit of pressure on Bradley Banders' goal. Going to be driving this one in towards the penalty spot. Straight into the hands of and uh, well, they'll take those all night. No threat at all. Nice flick on by Willett. Burnett's under pressure. Forced to go back to his keeper. Pasqua. Under pressure again. That ball needs to go long. Eventually goes out, but. Glasses do need to be careful when they're playing out from the back. Good footwork. Switch the play. Olivero. Well, that's a good ball over the top, and yeah, again, finding space in the box. Done that on several occasions where they've been able to peel off the men, and they're coming forward again. Borge, 
trying to feed it through to to Willie there. And as I said several times already, well, the ball's been played into the Glasses United box, and Europa players totally free. No one within five or ten yards of them to get closer. Good clearance there from Cipollina. Did really well hitting it long and keeping it on the pitch. To feet. Batista wanted the free kick, but no real contact. Surely, well brought down there by the full back. Well, he's done really well to get himself out of a tight situation there. Brought it down really well and then able to turn away from, from trouble. Well, giving the ball away there. Europa come forward. Hernandez taking his man on. Will he get the shot off? Well, good defending. A corner given, but excellent skill. Hernandez knocking the ball around his man. McCoy. And he's into getting his foot in there and pulling the ball away for a corner. More pressure. Willie into the box. He's set out by Pasqua. First time ball looking over to the far side and too much purchase on that one. 20 minutes gone. The Roper FC won. Glasses United nil. It's match day two in the championship group. Both Lincoln Red Imps and Europa FC have 28 points on the board coming into this game. Neck and neck at the top of the Gibraltar Football League this season. Very tight. FC Bruno's Magpies on 25, St. Joseph on 20, Lynx FC on 19 and Glasses United currently on 12. There, just happy to shield the ball out of play. Looking for options down this near side, but Nobody showing. Back in and first time clearance. Burnett's going to have to deal with that one. Back to his keeper, but it's a wild one. Well, it's out for a throw in. Pascal saving the ball from going out for a corner. with the nerves at the back there for Glasses United. Europa a pressing height. Forcing them into making errors. Yeah, on the right, good strength. Quite a few uh, fans gathering in the 
the main stand here at Victoria Stadium, Friday night football, under the floodlights. Excellent skill there from Hernandez, keeping the ball in play, looking up, seeing who's making a darting run into the box. Trying to play the ball back and McCoy again. Well played by Glasses. That's an excellent first touch. Glasses coming forward, shifting the ball out to the far side. Olivero was thinking about passing it back to his keeper, but in the end, happy to put the ball out for a throw in. They do work it well through the midfield. Glasses, it's just that final ball into the box, which at the moment seems to be eluding them, but go build up. Finally coming back, cleaning things up. Captain on the ball wants it back. Pichu on the ball into Hernandez. First time ball out to this near side. That's a good touch from Rivera. Will he put it on his left hand side? Goes for the shot and charged down by Cipollina in the end. Positive build up every time. Rivera opting to get it on his favoured left foot. And you can see what's coming. Because on so many of occasions, when he has managed to get the ball on his left, he's normally at the bottom corner. And they're coming forward again. And another timely intervention. Burnett there doing really well following the run. And able to close the space down. Pipolina shouting instructions to the forward players. I can sense that he's probably telling them they need to hold the ball up because it's coming back at the moment quicker than it's going up. Turn and the Lucian charge down. Jolly intercepting. Anticipating that. Nice turn from Rivera. Switching the play out to that left hand side. Oliveira coming forward. Manley on the ball. Continue the run. Ball played into the box. And that's a nice cushioned header. Good communication between McCoy and Pasqua there. Able just to cushion the ball back. Lassis trying to create, trying to probe. Some new players coming in at the club as you normally get during the Christmas break and into the second half of the season. Players moving around and new players being drafted in for the second second half. Glass is coming forward, going for the shot. Could have done better than that. Taziki getting the shot on goal, but wasn't really going to trouble Banda. Happy to work it out from the back again. 
Manchester United. That's a good ball down the right hand side. There's nobody in the box. Holding up the play or trying to play the ball square. Tissue able to intercept and now Europa driving forward. End to end stuff at the moment. Lucky deflection. And now there's back defending, but Glasses have it down the right. First time ball played into the box. Calm as you like. And then there's teaming up with Pichu wants it back. Good link up play through the middle for Europa. Charlie's coming forward, getting involved, driving into the middle. Still got the ball, good skill, nice little turn. Can he get the shot off well? That would have been some finish. Fantastic skill. Save with the, the left boot of Pasqua. Fantastic build up there from Europa. And almost getting their second. Coy. Little one two. Let's get some white shirts into that box. Build up is really good. Ball again. Shifted out to this near side. And well, the flag's gone up. Unfortunate with that one. Batista. Getting forward, just drifting into an offside position. Thirty minutes played at Victoria Stadium. It is match day two. Championship group. And that goal for Borge separates the two sides at the moment. He'll be just coming in. That's a flick on for Rivera. Can he get the finish? Going for the shot. Well, he's, he's tried to put that in with his left boot. There's an opportunity there to hit the ball first time with his right. He just waited too long. And he's gone with the left. Rather than trying to put it with, with his right across the goalkeeper. That was a massive chance. But yet again, Europa finding space. Oh, that's a nice touch. Rivera coming forward now. Will he go for the... Trying to tee it up on his left. I think the Glasses United players know that. Always try to show him out wide rather than bringing him inside. Not much in that. Rivera there stamping the the ground. He knows that he should have made it 2-0. And it coming forward. Well, that's not the right place to start. Messing around with the ball. Will it going for the shot? Well, he got back. He got back with a timely tackle. He got in front of Williams. He was looking to get the shot off. But it did all come about. From uh, Burnett trying to dribble the ball out of defence. Nice little touch over the top. 
Well, there's a mess up. And it's, well, a good clearance there from Olivero. The captain managing to get back. Well, they thought it was 1 1, and the captain's come right across the face of goal and managed to clear the danger. There was real confusion at the back for Europa. And the captain has just saved Banders' blushes because it would have been an embarrassing goal to concede. It won again. Good challenge. But Europa still have it going for that bottom corner and just narrowly wide of the keeper's right hand post. It was struck well. Inches wide of Pasqua's right hand post, but it's all happening at Victoria Stadium tonight. End to end stuff in this game. Gonna need some attention. Give for uh, United chance to discuss things and come across for some water. I could see Cipollina there trying to get some instruction to his players and rally the troops. It's been a good opening 35 minutes of this game and just that one goal separates the two sides. Glasses have played some good football, but it's that final ball into the box. Doesn't seem to be coming off at the moment. Looking at the uh, looking at the fixtures, letting you know what's going on, getting your football fix over this weekend. Tomorrow afternoon is St Joseph's versus FC Bruno's Magpies. That's the uh, the 4 p.m. Local time kickoff, and then in the evening, silver football action coming your way. Both on the Gibraltar FA TV YouTube channel. Do subscribe. Every single game is free to view, and of course, available on the satellite networks as well. And as I was saying, fixtures tomorrow. In the evening, it's College 1975 versus Manchester 1962. That's in the the challenging group. And then the Sunday fixtures, we'll see Lynx FC versus Lincoln Red Imps in the afternoon. That's the championship group. And then the uh, challenging group is in the evening. And that is Mons Calpet versus Europa Point. So lots of football coming your way over the weekend. They're looking to drive it long, looking over to the far side. Collision there with Borge. The physios have been been busy in this last five or ten minutes. Rivera is still kicking himself of that opportunity he had just a few minutes ago. That ball played over the top, and he does feel if he would have hit the ball first time right-footed across the keeper, possibly would have nestled in the bottom corner. Just waited and decided to go with his left in the end. Burnett looks a bit dazed, but I'm sure he'll be okay. Had a good season so far.
looking at the benches this evening, just there. Uh, Europa have Lopez, Orahula, Sanchez, Montea, Venet, Gibson, and Kula. That is the bench for Europa FC. Westbrook Gansic United. They've got Victor Brinkman, Fernandez, Roos, Prescott, Issy, and Vittorio. Plenty of options. Well, Gibson coming on. Substitution. Early on for uh, Stephen Cummings aside. Into Jolly. Being pushed back and finally coming deep to receive. Rivera as well this time operating over on the left hand side. Been a swap with with Willett. Chipolina gonna have to deal with that well. Did really well. Quite calm with that. Uh, that pass and glasses get it out to the far side driving forward can they get themselves level before half time five minutes remaining i'm oh, moving a little bit quicker at the moment that's a good ball and that's a wonderful finish that is a fantastic goal for Glasses United. And it's 37. Kazaki. But what a ball over the top. Pinpoint accuracy. And a fantastic finish. Keeping the ball down. And giving Banda no chance. I was just saying. And if they could get themselves back in this game before half time, and that one little piece of magic. Tarzaki, quality player. It was a brilliant ball played over the top, but he's done really well as the ball has come over, come over his shoulder. He's hit it first time, but able to keep it down. And making it 1 1. But Europa coming forward now, looking to get themselves back in the lead. Oliveira went to the box. Keeping the pressure going. Manolin. Oliveira again. I need some support. Rivera's an option. At the moment, Alcis will just be happy to weather the storm because Europa want to get themselves back in front. Jolly in defeat. Well, there wasn't too much in that. Quite a lot of noise. Often seems to get the get the attention of the official, but here's a free kick. Glasses again. Playing with confidence. They have been knocking the ball down really well. I was saying like just not had a look in the final third until that fantastic ball was played into the box and a quality finish to match. Europa driving on. Bit of a race on. Well, they're gonna have to deal with this. 
Chipolina in the end. Just mopping things up at the back. Willie on the ball, good skill. Solid challenge. Olivero taking over, doing really well. Can he cut the ball back into space? Cross the face of goal. Well, glasses are able to clear. And defence into attack now. This game is really opening up. Two minutes left at the end of the first half. Exciting game between these two sides. Taken quickly. John is going to continue the run. He often does. Pursue inside. Plenty of hand gestures coming from Europa's technical area. Stephen Cummings, constant figure on his feet, trying to walk a straight thing, trying to get his team motoring through the gears. Into Willett, looking up, looking for options, going for the shot, driving it. Well, it wasn't a bad effort. He's let fly. And why do the keepers left hand post? Sure, Pasqua will say that he had that covered, but it's a good effort from Willett hitting it. Good 25 yards out. And Glasses come forward now. Can they get the shot off again? Chested down. Well, that looked like a foul. Pulling it into his man. Glasses still have the ball. Keeping possession. Fully over the top. Getting bodies back. Well played. McCoy on that occasion. Able to speed in and, well, taken quickly. Europa have it. Playing it out to the, the left. First time shot. A lot of arrows. Saying that the, it took a deflection. He wanted the corner. Be a goal kick. Both these sides will be looking now for a, a well earned breather and a bit of a drink because it has been end to end stuff this first half. Rivera on the ball. Coming inside. Can he get the ball across the face of goal? Well, Glasses are able to clear. But yet again, as soon as they do, Europa picking up the ball. Looking for the overlap. Nice turn. Issue on the ball. Rivera. Out to the far side. Bit of space there for Olivero. Can he pick up a man out into driving it into the box? Well, he's looking for Willie, but Glasses have it. That's a good ball into space. Well, he just ran away from him. Well, the flag's gone up. Well, it's very difficult to see. Well, didn't didn't take the glance over his shoulder just to check. And he was on side, but the. Flag went up straight away from the assistant referee over on the far side. Two minutes of added time. It's been an eventful first 45 minutes. Match day two, Gibraltar Football League. Getting back off in style. Chester down. Can't 
Bill on left. And there goes the half-time whistle. Eventful first 45 minutes at Victoria Stadium. On as even as both sides make their way off for the half-time team talk. The first goal came for Dylan Board. You managed to slot the ball beyond uh, Pasqua to make it 1-0. A couple of opportunities as well. A fall into uh, Rivera in that first half. But a fantastic strike from Tarzake, who uh, managed to volley the ball beyond Banda to make it 1-1. We'll be back in about 10 minutes' time to bring you second half coverage from Victoria Stadium. But at half-time in this match day two fixture, it's your Upper FC 1, Glasses United 1. We'll see you soon.
Well, good evening and welcome back to Victoria Stadium. Players just making their way back out onto the pitch. Classic United, we're out. Out first few minutes before Europa FC for a quality first half. All level. That first goal for Europa FC early on in the the first half coming from Dylan Borge. And then a fantastic finish from Terzaki. Leverillin for Glasses United. Ball played over the top and a first time volley. Nestling the ball beyond Bradley Bandit. But I'm sure we're in for an exciting second period. It will be Glasses United to get us underway, kicking from left to right in this second period. Just waiting for Timothy Riok, taking a glance at his watch. Well, Will is, uh, Will is keen to get going, and we are off. The testing ball for Europa. Driven forward, good deception there. Nice ball inside for Will Ely. Will it played into the path of Rivera? To Jolly. Rivera back. Trying to twist and turn away from his man. Olivero, he'll continue looking for the overlap. And Alim was trying to flick the ball. That's a good turn, look like a... Yep, so, well, it's... Given the free kick the other way, but I'm certain that it was a foul one. The PD there managed to turn his man and looked like his uh, his leg was caught. Played forward. Rivera's going to get there. Looking for Jollet. The ball played inside for Willett. Cut back. Nervous clearance there from Lassish United. Oliveira able to put the ball across the face of goal. And he's got it back into the middle. Ball played down. First time shot, and a good save, tipped over the crossbar. That was a good build-up. Into Rivera. Very happy with the ball on his left-hand side. A clean strike. And a good save from Pasqua. Corner from the far side, that's a good... Ball into the box. Opting to punch the ball rather than, than catch it. Pressure still on. Burn it clears. Nice turn. All the way back. Pichu. Solid player for the Roper. Andrew Hernandez. Just gets the ball down. He keeps the game simple. Does those jobs that you don't really notice. Well, that ball is still in play. Gibson driving forward, trying to get it across the face of goal. 
Well, the collision was right in front of the referee. Gibson driving on. Down the left-hand side. Just having a, a word there. Annalyn. Chance for classes here. Decided to go a shot rather than get the ball into the box. Well, they're coming forward now. Just running away from them. Can they get another chance? Into the box, Europa clear. Nervous clearance there from Europa FC. Throwing the ball out of play. Looks like we may be having a, another substitution. I'm sure we're going to see quite a few changes. Is the players putting a lot of miles in tonight. Torio coming on. Intercepted on the far side as Glasses again playing the ball into the box. Nice little touch. Can he get the shot off? Well, it's Cavalier defending at the moment from Europa FC, but Glasses have it going for the shot. Good save down to the right hand side. And guard in that near post. But they do have a, having a bit of joy, but they're going to have to get back defending. Willie on the ball to put the byline. That's a good ball back. First time header. Well, a good save at the near post as well from Pasqua. He did really well. He was headed down. And a fantastic save. Excellent agility there from the Glasses United keeper. Into end stuff. Just 30 seconds earlier, it was Banda making the save. Clean hands this time. And they've got the ball. Can they open it up? Victoria is a big lad and he's done really well. Glasses United coming forward. Can they get the shot off? Going for the shot. Takes an inflation and he's gone in. And it's 2 1 to Glasses United. Fantastic scenes at Victoria Stadium. Brilliant play. And they've managed to get the shot off and it's 2 1. It took a wicked deflection. And look what it means. Quality finish. The PD there. But when he shot it, did look like it took a wicked deflection. And as Banda tried to get down to his right hand side, it just managed to squeeze in. Off his right hand post to get Glasses United in front. Well, 
the pressure's on now. The two real opportunities in this game and been able to finish them both, but you're gonna have to do some defending now. Gibson. Going for the one-two. Can I get the finish? Oh, dragged his shot wide. It was a good one-two. It was played back into Gibson's feet. And he's tried to pick out the bottom corner. He's gone back across the goalkeeper. And that's a massive chance. Just illustrates how dangerous this Europa side are and they coming forward again. Gibson on the ball, he's gonna need some support. He's kept the ball in play and good defending. Closing down the space. Olivero with the throw in. Well, he's coming short. Gibson's moving as well, trying to create a little bit of space into the box. Burnett's done well, he's kept his eyes on that. On the goal kick. Classic United will be looking just to calm things down. Possibly try and break up the play of this Europa team. Over the top again. Turning the defence, putting pressure on. Good skill. That's a good tackle. Nothing wrong with that, uh, that challenge from Glasses United then, a good decision from Timothy Riok. But they do have the corner. Chance to get some bodies into the box. Plenty a bit of pressure. Pasqua. Has turned into an exciting game, good ball into the box. Rivera's going to get it. On his favoured left-hand side. In towards that near ball hall. It's, I think it came off Gipolina. A ball played in, and it did. Captain seemed to know what he was doing with that one because the way that he was flicking it away from goal. And more pressure, and a good shot and a good finish on the volley to make it 2-2. Well, that lead was short-lived because you're up for a level. A good delivery from Willett, a first-time shot. And it's Gibson with a goal. It was all about calming things down, trying to weather the storm. But Europa are level. They've been applying that bit of pressure. They're coming forward again, can they cut the ball back? First time shot into the box. Well, it's a good save, Olivero across, and he's got it. He scored the third goal. And it's from the captain, Olivero. He's managed to drive the ball back across. Into the bottom corner. And within a matter of 40 seconds, it's 3-2. Well, fantastic second off 
display, especially for the neutral. Back in league action, match day two of the challenge of the championship group. Glasses still driving forward. Challenge there on Vittorio. Willie out to the far side. Coming forward, he was onside, was Rivera. Can he find Manolin in the box? First time shot, it's four! A tidy finish. Wonderful build up, defensive to attack. And Europa FC make it 4 2. Excellent ball into space. Manolin, first time shot beyond Pasqua to give his side a 4 2 lead. You've got to feel for Glasses United. Took the lead, but then, as all good sides do, Able to just give that little bit more, that extra five or ten percent. And the Roper have got themselves back into the game. And with a 4 2 lead as well. And to win stuff. Some real character. <laughs> Say no, that the goal was Gibson, but in fact it was. Still on board with the the second goal for Europa to get on back level with that folly. So I do apologise. But we do know for a fact that it was Manolin who netted their four for the evening. And they're coming forward again. Olivero across the Face of goal, he's been slipped to hell. He got away with that one. He's dropped the ball. Managed to correct the, the mistake by putting the ball away for a for a corner. get himself on this one again looking for his hat trick now well it's towards the back paw so palmed away by Pasqua it won't buy Panda Be a throw in. Exciting game. Glasses looking to come forward. Looks like it was. Being held back, but referee waving play on.
A little bit tight at the back, but going away with it. Gibson coming deep, driving it out to that far side. He's looking for the run of... Not convincing from the, from the keeper there. Managing to find his man, but as soon as they get the ball, they're giving it back again. Roper coming forward in search of a of number five. Pull back. Can they get the shot off? Trying to get out of his feet. He's gone for that corner and a good save. Well parried away. Looking for the hat trick. Trying to dig the ball out of his feet. Looking for the keeper's right hand side, but all parried away. These corners are very dangerous from Willie as he calls him. Calls him away from the goalkeeper. Gibson wins the throw in. Europa player down. Gonna need some assistance. It has been a fantastic game of football tonight. There's lots of football coming your way. As I was saying before, tomorrow afternoon we'll see St. Joseph's versus FC Bruno's Magpies. And then the evening fixture takes us into challenging group, which is College 1975 versus Manchester 1962. And then the Sunday fixtures will see Lynx versus Lincoln Renimps. That's the afternoon game, the 4 p.m. local time fixture. And then the evening game is back into the challenging group, which will see Mons Calpe versus Europa Point. As always, as well, if you uh, want to keep up to speed and want to know what's going on in the Gibraltar Football League this season, then you can download the Gibraltar Football app. And it is available on iOS and Android devices. So everything you need to know on The Rock can be found on the app if you're interested in your Gibraltar football. Glasses looking to get themselves going again. Driving forward down the left. Heavy touch. Giving away the throw in. Managed to get their noses in front through uh, the PD. Did look like the ball had taken a wicked deflection as Bradley Bander was diving down towards his right hand side and going in off the post. Since then, Europa showing some real character. Board with the second to make it level. Then the captain, Olivero, making it 3 2. And then the 4 2. Was a fantastic move down the right into the feet of Rivera. And he's managed to put the ball square into the path of Manalinu. Hit the ball first time. Beyond the glasses, United keeper. Glasses have it. Well closed down. Roper again switching the play out to the out to the right. Rivera's gonna keep this one in. Well he's on for the short one. Overlap with 
Jolly making himself an option. Well, that's a nice ball. And they're going to keep it well. The flag's gone up. Well, that was tight. That was tight. Twenty minutes remaining. Roper FC four, Glasses United two. And there's going to be another substitution. Bruce. Coming on, it looks like the goal scorer. PD is uh, making way. Another substitution. Prescott being brought into this. Fresh legs for the final 20. For Banda, the uh, putting his laces right through this ball, getting the distance on it. Good flick on. Nice turn. No nonsense clearance, but Olivero able to nod it back. Has gone out. Gibson unable to keep the ball in play. That's a good ball into space, so oh. wasn't a bad delivery. Looking for the run of Vittorio. Gibson has it. Can he pick someone out? Looking for the overlap. Will his Come as an option. Olivero takes over. He's going to win the corner. Ball has gone out of play. Some more pressure on the glasses goal. Another ball to be swung out. Very difficult to defend against these swinging away from goal and looking for players to run on to the end. Ball's gone out. Goal kick. Flicked on this space over on the far side. There's going to be a double substitution for Europa coming shortly. Looks like he's going to be made now. Rivera making way for Vinette. And also Anna Lynn. The scorer of Europa's fourth goal this evening. He's going to be making way for Rahula. Very much a 
impact player is or a hula is when he does come on he does tend to make things happen scored a few goals as well this season Just having a few words with Burnett and Dylan Borge. Searching for his uh, for his hat trick tonight. I was giving the his second goal for Gibson when it quite clearly was a a well taken volley from the uh, Europa front man. this near side on moving into space but plenty of green shirts back defending Cipollina is going for the shot it's, well he hit that clean Textbook strike there. But straight down the throat of Banda. Burnett's going to. Oh, he's done well under pressure. Keeper wasn't really asking, weren't really uh, helping him out with that one. He had to come up with something quick. Managed to turn his man. The key's been quite in this second half. But they do have the ball now. It's well threaded through for... Well... It is a good save in the end from Banda. Played into feet. Just making that run. Off the shoulder of the defender. Flag went up very quickly. Mentioning as well last night uh, after that Rock Cup game, that fantastic 5 0 win for under 19's futsal against San Marino. They're back in action tomorrow afternoon at the Tur Centenary, and that is against Montenegro. Sloppy play there from Roper conceding that corner. So, yeah, plenty of football action, even internationals. Jamie Bossio's on the 19s. Good delivery. Cleared at the back post, but going to be kept in play. Being forced back. Need to move it a bit quicker. That's a good ball into feet. Beating his man. Trying to get the ball into the box. Brought it down well did Prescott. Drop of the soldiers, there's some space out on the far side. Best of bounces, but keeping the ball. Nice turn. Well, he's still got the ball. He's managed to get it right across the face of goal, and nobody's gambling. Just needed a bit more anticipation from some of the Glasses United players getting themselves into the box. 
Cipollina did really well to beat his man and then put the ball across the face of goal. And they're going to have to do some defending now. They do that really well. Very composed. Well, that's a good ball into space. He needs to beat in that first time. He's giving defenders too much time to get back. That was a good ball, splitting the defence in two. But Vittoria really didn't need to hit that ball first time. Back across Banda. Space. Going for the one two. Yeah, just lean in over the back. Fortunate there from Prescott. Into the final ten minutes of this game. back in with a pinball safely back into the hands of Pasqua looking at the lead table as it stands or if it remains the same and your all FC will go to the top of the championship group they'll have 31 points Lincoln Red Imps in action again this weekend. Just uh, keeps the pressure on at the top of the league. Going long, but nobody there. Calmly brought down. Got fantastic technique as. Joseph Cipollina, quality player. Good skill. It's a good ball into space and Gibson. Will he take his man on? Well, he's run right into traffic. Look tired. Came on as a substitute, but he has done a lot of running up, up and down this near, this near side. Turns the key with the ball, playing it back. Can they get a good delivery into the box? Trying to get the better of Ethan Jolly, but having no joy with that one. And they're coming forward now. Oh, kept his eyes on the ball. Good strength. Issue there, just leaning into his man and muscling him out of possession. Excellent qualities. Benny Brinkman, the 
man in charge at Glasses United. Has brought a lot of quality to this team. Do play some attractive football, as we've seen tonight. Looking for the handball, but not given. Jolly coming forward, slips it into the path of Willie. His options at the at the back post. Or a hole going for that top corner. Oh, we've seen that before this season. Does tend to get a good bend on the shots. Just too central on that occasion. Classes could get another goal be in the next minute or so it would set up a uh, a nervy last few minutes for Europa. Olivero, the captain, just urging his team just to keep going, get the points on the board. Go back to the top of the Gibraltar Football League. Another change. Cola coming on for the final five minutes. night but excellent conditions for football looking to switch the play that's an easy one cushion back and Kohler and and Banda able to sort things out between them To space, bit of a race on. Burnett there trying to get the better of uh, of Burnett, but he's a solid defender, confident. He seems to have uh, good positional sense, does the Central defender for Glasses United. Steady in the ship. Europa just playing out the final few minutes of this game. All about getting the points on the board and free kick. Already been given. On the card. Two players just colliding, going for the same ball. Ellen Borge. Going into the book. Two goals tonight for for Borge. First one early on in the game, managing to uh, get the better of the defence and slipping the ball under Pasqua to make it uh, one nil. And then the second was a fantastic volley. It was a corner played from this near side. 
Swung out by uh, by Willett, and then a first time connection from Dylan Borju. Managed to pick out the top corner. That was really the start of getting Europa back in the game. It got them level. And then a goal from the captain, Olivero. And a fourth from Manolin to make it 4 2. in play on Rahula across the face of goal it's cleared out but Europa still have it bustling for position cleared out it will be a corner good challenge in the end but it's all getting back We are into additional time now at the end of the 90 minutes. Whatever Timothy Rioc decides to add for extra time. Quite a few uh, positives to take from this game for Glasses United as they continue with the championship group. And moments of quality. But at the end of the day, it's that little bit more quality coming from Europa FC. Oh, good feet. Just running out of uh, pitch there was the captain. Constant figure powering forward down the left-hand side. When you're up attack, they do have extra bodies. Jolly's another one who likes to do exactly the same on the on the opposite side. And he's continued the run. <laughs> Referee just taking a another quick glance at his watch. Not quite uh, quite sure what was uh, was added. Turn into space, first time shot. Well, he's on over there. He didn't need a second invitation. It was central and an easy one for Pasqua. Good feet again. Well, there goes the final whistle from Victoria Stadium. It's ended in victory for Europa FC. Uh, those goals, two from Borge, one from uh, Olivero, and one from Manolin. Makes it 4-2 on the night. They will go to the top of the Gibraltar Football League. 31 points on the board for them. Of course, there's plenty of football coming your way over the uh, over the weekend. Looking at the fixtures, tomorrow afternoon, St. Joseph versus FC Bruno's Magpies. College 1975 versus Manchester 1962. That is the evening game. And then two fixtures on Sunday. One in the championship, which is Lynx FC versus Lincoln Red Imps. And then the uh, challenging group is, we'll see, Mons Calpe versus Europa Point. Hope you've enjoyed the coverage. Don't forget to subscribe to the, uh, the YouTube channel. That's Gibraltar FA TV for every single game free to view this season but from victoria stadium 
It has ended. Europa FC 4, Glasses United 2. We'll see you soon.